Hey guys, so uh, we just had our first Dear White People table read for season four. <laughs> After all this time, I know y'all are probably like, y'all still gonna shoot that show? It's been like two years. Um, but yeah, it feels really good to get to see all the faces of my cast members and I don't know, go into filming this season. It's a weird COVID situation where it was like all done on Zoom, which you can see up here, it was a little different. Um, but the energy and the vibe of it was the same. It's gonna be some great work. I'm really excited about it. To have this final chapter, um, to just book in this character because Coco Connors was a phenomenal woman to play, but I'm ready to play somebody else. Um, needless to say, it got me in a little bit of a nostalgic mood. So I decided I was gonna go look at my scrapbook. We're gonna talk about a couple of things. Um, your girl knew she was booking a series that day cause she took a picture. <laughs> she took a picture and was like, I just booked a series. Look at God. But I wanted to talk about how badly I wanted the Dear White People movie in 2013. And I was like, oh my God, I could play this role. Like, oh, I want it so bad. And it felt like it was right and it just didn't happen for me. And I'm so grateful that Tiana Paris killed it the way that she did. But I still had faith that I would get to play a strong black woman that was articulate and ambitious and reflected all of the things that I knew were present in society that I never saw on my television. Um, and Olivia Pope before Olivia Pope, if you will. Like, how does she become Olivia Pope? That kind of a thing. Anywho, so I was super sad about that. And a fan just asked me in my Q&A, like, what role did you really want that you didn't get? And I was like, I really wanted to play Coco in the movie. And it just so happens that I got to play her in the series and I got so much more time to spend on this character. I'm completely obsessed with her. I thought y'all were gonna hate her, but for nostalgia purposes, I have my original audition. <laughs> June 21st, 2013 for Dear White People, the movie. And I put the order from Lionsgate that was sent on August 4th, 2016. Pretty much three years after and I ended up getting to play the role that I had dreamt of playing which is a testament to the same thing that I had said in one of my previous videos, hearing no only means not now, not ever, or not never. It's like a double negative, but you understand what I mean. It just means no for now. That doesn't mean that it's never gonna happen. And I'm so grateful. I can't wait to show you guys our final season. Um, I know it's gonna be magic, but it's like looking through this book, like our first table read well this is dinner with my manager and um, a former agent of mine and this is our first table read the first call sheet i took a picture the day i auditioned because i was like oh no i'm finna book this i was not playing this is all of a jamie fox came to visit us our first year <laughs> on set he put me in this little sexy beyonce number like o m G, yeah, I needed to zoom in for that because <laughs> this is our first table read at Lionsgate. We're all just getting to know each other and meet each other. All this stuff brings back so much. Oh, Coco's first episode, baby Coco and Lolo. Coco and Sam. Look at these throwback pictures, y'all. Oh my God, these wigs. This is the day that we were forever bonded. Season one, episode five was such an emotional experience for all of us. Um, Marquis Richardson played the hell out of that episode. It was amazing. Um, we all were just so traumatized by seeing the gun and seeing that in a moment where the guy proven to be the most brilliant man in the room, he turned into a threat immediately because of the perception of who he was based on his skin color. And Jordan Edwards was murdered 10 seconds after that happened. And I know there are people who are saying that 
it was just a little bit too real. And no, the whole purpose of art is to inform and inspire people and to confront the world with the truth. And that is the truth that we're living in. There are black men and black women, people of color on a whole that are being targeted based on the color of their skin. And even in a moment where something could have been de-escalated, de he was staring down at the barrel of a gun. And that episode stuck with me. It stuck with all of us. We cried, we prayed. It was such a beautiful experience. Ah! Y'all, this is so crazy. This is all 2016, 2017. We made a yearbook. Ah! Look at that. I keep everything. Probably not this year, but anyway. And this little thing right here the things that actors dream of, wanting to get your name on a chair. It's so weird, this whole ride has been amazing. Like I expected that God would give me the desires of my heart, but I never quite imagined how amazing this whole ride would be. And we're going into the fourth season of a show. Like, what are you saying? This is my first time being a series regular so I don't know I'm super grateful and I just wanted to share that with you guys in a little throwback you know um I might put a couple clips in there of like the table read with no sound of course and take you along for the journey that is the beginning of season four during COVID it's scary anyway <laughs> see you later thanks for watching